What is the best three-day workout routine to build muscle and have a lean physique? Should you do a full body program or go for a push-pull leg split? Both methods can work, but I want to show you the absolute best way to train so you can maximize your fitness results in just three weekly workouts. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video because I will show you a complete full body and push-pull legs program that you can use. First, let's compare the two training routines. With a full body routine, you train every muscle group in a balanced way three times per week. So if you train your chest with 12 sets in a single week, in a three-day full body training routine, you do four sets of chest on Monday, four sets on Wednesday, and four sets on Friday. While with a push-pull legs routine, your workouts are more concentrated. The push day is essentially a chest and triceps with side delts workout. The pull day is a back, biceps, and rear delt workout. And the leg day, that will of course train your legs as a whole. An example of training your chest with 12 sets per week, with a push-pull leg split, you would do all 12 chest sets in one workout and that is on the push day. The benefit of a push-pull leg split is that it's relatively simple. You focus on just one to two major muscle groups per workout. So as an example, you can really concentrate on crushing your back and biceps in the pull day. While with a full body workout, you may only do like two back exercises on each full body day. Which for some people feels weird. If you really like the feeling of training a muscle to its limits, then using a push-pull leg split might suit you better. With that said, for most people, if you only have three days to work with, a pure push-pull leg split is not the best way to train. Because if you follow a push-pull leg split with a three day per week frequency, you will be able to train each major muscle group only once per week. And we know from research that dividing your weekly training volume per muscle group and training each muscle two to three times per week has a benefit for your muscle development. This is why I usually recommend a full body split to individuals that train three times per week. There are two specific reasons why it's more beneficial to go for a full body split instead of push-pull legs. The first benefit is related to your performance. Imagine you perform 12 sets of leg training in a week. You have three sets of a back squat, Romanian deadlift, leg press, and lunges. If you perform all four exercises in one workout, by the time you get to your lunges, the leg muscles will already be fatigued and you will not be able to lift as much weight. While if you perform three full body workouts in which you do four sets of leg training each day, every time you train a leg exercise, your legs will feel fresh and you will be able to perform better in your workouts. So by doing the same amount of work, but just organizing your workouts differently, you can improve how much weight you can lift in each exercise. Being able to lift more weight and put up a better performance in the gym will naturally lead to better results. The second benefit of a full body routine is that you align your workouts better with your muscle growth capacity. Research shows that after a workout, your muscle protein synthesis levels remain elevated for about 36 to 48 hours. This means that if you train your chest on Monday, by Wednesday your chest already stops growing. So why only train your chest once per week by having a push day? It makes more sense to stimulate the chest again on Wednesday and Friday, like you would do in a full body routine. Essentially, if you can only train three days per week, then a full body routine is a very logical way to approach things. So if you want to follow a three day per week full body routine, how does that look? Well, here comes the interesting part. To have an effective full body workout design, I actually like to incorporate some of the concepts you will find in a push-pull leg split. But now it's under the full body umbrella. In essence, I recommend you have three types of full body workouts. A push-focused full body day, a pull-focused full body day, and a leg-focused day. I shared a complete full body workout with you about five years ago that uses the same exact concepts. And thousands of people have seen amazing results with this routine. To have a full body workout that lasts about an hour, we need seven exercises. And I like to structure these seven exercises in the following way. On a push-focused full body day, we have three push, two legs, and two pull exercises. Check this push-focused full body day. We have three push, two pull, and two leg exercises. So all the major muscle groups are trained, but there is a focus on the chest and triceps. Now on the pull-focused full body day, we have three pull, two legs, and two push exercises. Check this day two workout. All the major muscle groups are trained, but the back and biceps are being emphasized. Then the last workout is a leg-focused full body day with three legs, two pull, and two push exercises. On this third workout, we focus on training the legs first and then the upper body also gets some attention. With this program, you get to train every major muscle group three times per week while having a clear structured plan. Sometimes when people do a full body program, they just do a collection of random exercises together in one session. But that's not effective full body training. You also need structure in a full body workout program. And this example helps you create that structure. Feel free to take this template and customize the exercises based on your needs.
Now, what if you have been training full body for quite some time and you are ready to try something new? In this case, it is worth experimenting with a pure push-pull legs program, in which you train each muscle group just once per week. While you might not gain muscle as fast as in a full body routine, there are other benefits to a pure push-pull legs program like improving your muscle endurance and increasing your work capacity. As a good structure for a pure push-pull legs routine, follow this template. On a push day, have three chest, two shoulders, and two tricep exercises. As you can see in this workout, there are three chest movements, two for the shoulders, and two triceps lifts. With a pull day, do four back exercises, two bicep exercises, and one rear delt movement. This is a good example workout with four back exercises, two biceps, and one rear deltoid movement. And lastly, on a leg day, you perform two quadriceps, two hamstrings, one calves, and one abdominal exercise. Your leg day can now look something like this, in which each leg muscle is being trained in a balanced way. Here you can find the complete push-pull leg split that trains your muscles with the same volume as a full body split. But now each training day is more focused, you concentrate on only training one to two major muscle groups. My recommendation is that if you want to maximize your progress while training three days per week, start with the full body example I showed you earlier in this video, and then later on in the process you can always experiment with push-pull legs if you would like. There are of course more ways you can design your program. For instance, it's also possible to do upper-lower workouts. In my own training, I currently do two upper and two lower body workouts per week. This is the training approach I've been using for the past few years and made most of my progress with. Especially if you're looking to train between four to five times per week, incorporating upper and lower days is beneficial. To give you an idea of the possibilities, you can even combine an upper-lower and push-pull leg split if you train five times per week. If you would like for me to make a follow-up video about how to design an upper-low routine, let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe so I can make that happen for you. Also, I must mention that the programs I showed you in today's video are generalized routines. I created these examples so you have some tangible starting points in your workout journey. But if you are looking to get the absolute best results without spending tons of time in the gym, I recommend you look into my one-on-one -on -one online coaching service. Through my online coaching, I've worked with over a thousand people to help them achieve amazing fat loss and muscle growth results. I will be designing your personalized training and nutrition plan while holding you accountable throughout the process. So you can focus on taking action while having an expert by your side who's guiding you step by step. Visit the link in my description to apply and I will reach out to you for us to set up a call. And that was all for today's video. I hope you now have a better understanding on how to approach your training if you only have three days per week. Here above, I have an awesome new video aligned for you, so go ahead and check that out. Thank you as always for your support, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.